Malika Sarma. I'm a second year PhD student at Notre Dame. And biological anthropology is very cool because it allows you to study human variability all over the world at all different kinds of times. I'm really excited that the AAPAs this year are in New Orleans because it is the best place for food, for music, uh, the people are awesome, the art scene is amazing, um, and the fact that anthropologists study people all around the world, like what better place to go? This is my second AAPA. Um, I w didn't actually go as an undergrad, and so I, the first time I went was as a grad student, and uh, it was amazing last year, and it was in Atlanta, so now that it's here, it's even better. <laughs> when I was a kid, um, I read a lot of comics. I was kind of a weird kid. I, I read a lot and um, I was really into X-Men comics and I uh, like the science in the X-Men comics is, is really really cool. A lot of it probably illegal but I was like the fact that people are studying humans and human variability even if they're not actually real humans I thought was awesome um, and then when I got to college I realized that anthropology was a real field and you could actually study humans for a living which was super, super cool. Um, and I took my first class in anthropology and I was like, this is amazing. Um, and I just kept taking anthropology classes. At, at the time, I thought I was gonna be a physicist. I was like dead set on being a physicist because I really wanted to work for NASA. Um, but I was like, you know what? Actually, I think that studying humans is what I'm supposed to be doing. I study uh, physiological adaptations in extreme environments, uh, specifically energetics, uh, metabolic and endocrine physiology at high altitude. Um, I'm interested in what is the range of variability in these particular systems um, and using high altitude as kind of an analog for, you know, people have successfully colonized all sorts of different kinds of, high, uh, of extreme environments and high altitude people have been living there for hundreds and hundreds of years and so understanding that length of adaptation I think is really, really interesting conferences you get to see people's strides you get to see people's ideas um, and actually that's what I'm most excited about like the posters are gonna be great the talks are gonna be great but I'm really excited about the happy hours and talking to people about their either ideas for their research and uh, like I'm a total methods nerd and being like all the different kinds of methods that we can be using I mean technology is advancing so quickly um, and you know knowing what what are the new what are the new uh, d kinds of data that we can collect that we weren't able to collect 10 years ago um, so like I know that I'm gonna have drinks with someone to talk about you know comparing actigraph data like the fact that there are two actigraphs that we can actually compare I think is so cool um, yeah so that's what I'm most excited about and also I think putting faces to names that I've read um, there are a lot of you know people who just seem like gods when you read them on paper and then you know you you meet them in person you're like wow you're another person you're another human cool it's really nice to meet you um, let's talk shop conferences are great it's like the best thing that you can do it's my favorite time of the year um, it's you're in this weird world where you're surrounded by nerds who think that things are cool just the things that you think are cool they think are cool too which doesn't happen very often um, also you get to leave your your little bubble of you know grad school undergrad wherever you're you're living at and like it, it really helps put your own research into perspective because you know you're working on it day after day after day and you're like, you know, okay, I think it's cool, but maybe it's not. And then you start talking to other people and they're like, no, this is awesome. This research, research is so cool. Um, and so come, even if you're not presenting anything, I think it's really important. See if you can get funding, um, see if you can meet professors, uh, if you can meet other graduate students. I actually think that like meeting professors is really important, but meeting your peers, I think is, has been for me one of the most enriching experiences because you know, we're the next generation, so.